Hi, this is Nadia at Elite Way Forex with your daily analysis for the British pound US dollar pair for the trading session dated Tuesday, 3rd of March 2015. Cable continued trading in an even tighter range, and I have to admit, as analyst and trader, that the tighter price action became, the more anxious I am to enter the market and trade. Such typical behavior of a trader, if I am to say. So instead, I decided to go all the way to the tick chart and provide a detailed analysis of the recent downwards movement. To be able to present all the wave labeling I came up with, I will be presenting a 30 minute chart at the end of today's analysis. Today's main count expects cable to reverse directions and move toward the upside with a very narrow leeway space, and the alternate count on the other hand expects the trend to be a downtrend and that upwards movement should prove corrective in nature. At this stage, both counts have almost equal probabilities and we will let price action decide for us which count is the highly probable count as we wait for either count's confirmation point to be reached. On the daily chart, this count expects that intermediate wave 1 plaque is complete as an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5 pool. Minor wave 5 pool unfolded as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink with wave 3 pink unfolding as a clear 5 wave structure labeled waves 1 through 5 green. This count expects that intermediate wave 2 plaque is unfolding toward the upside as a zigzag labeled A, B and C pool of minor degree. Wave A pool is expected to be unfolding toward the upside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink with waves 1 through 3 pink complete and it's likely that wave 4 pink is complete as well. Wave 3 pink unfolded toward the upside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green. Wave 4 pink unfolded as an expanded flat correction and it's likely that with 5 pink has started to unfold toward the upside. This count would be confirmed by movement above 1.5553 and we have a target for the completion of with 5 pink and therefore with a pool at 1.5616 as at that level with 5 pink will reach equality with wave 1 pink. This count's invalidation point is at 1.5224 as with 4 pink may not enter the price territory of wave 1 pink. As well this count would be invalidated by movement above 1.7193 as intermediate wave 2 plaque may not retrace more than 100% the length of intermediate wave 1 plaque. We will move now to the hourly chart from the end of wave 3 pink to see the latest movement within wave 4 pink and what we expect for the completion of wave 5 pink. On the hourly chart, this count expects that wave 3 pink is complete as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green and that wave 4 pink is complete as well as an expanded flat correction labeled A, B, and C green. With A green unfolded as a zigzag toward the downside, while with B green unfolded toward the upside as a zigzag labeled A, B, and C orange. With with C orange unfolding as an ending diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 purple, and after the completion of with B green, with C green unfolded toward the downside as an ending diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 orange, completing wave 4 pink. This count expects that cable is about to reverse directions and move toward the upside to make a new high to complete with a flow and therefore with 5 pink. This count would be confirmed by movement above 1.5553 and we have a target for the completion of with 5 pink at 1.5616 as at that level with 5 pink will reach equality with wave 1 pink. This count's invalidation point is at 1.5344 as within with 5 pink no second wave may retrace more than 100% the length of the first wave. As well, this count would be invalidated by movement above 1.7193 as wave 2 plaque may not retrace more than 100% the length of wave 1 plaque. As far as MACD study goes, MACD is showing a bullish divergence as the latest downwards movement made a new low, while MACD failed to follow suit and registered a higher low and in the process creating a bullish divergence. Therefore, MACD suggests an upwards movement even if just corrective. If that lower invalidation point is met, we will move automatically to the alternate hourly chart and the alternate hourly count expects that wave A flow is complete as an impulse labeled wave 1 through 5 pink with wave 4 pink unfolding as a running flat correction. This running flat correction subdivided into waves A, B and C green with wave A green unfolding as a zigzag labeled A, B and C orange and as well with B green unfolded as a zigzag labeled A, B and C orange. Wave C green unfolded toward the downside as an ending diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 orange 
and after the completion of wave 4 pink, wave 5 pink unfolded toward the upside as an ending diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 green and since wave A flow is expected complete, this count expects that wave B flow is unfolding toward the downside as a zigzag labeled A, B and C pink. Within that zigzag correction, wave A pink is expected complete as a leading diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 green and to determine the nature of wave B pink, we will move to the 30 minute chart that I mentioned earlier. On that 30 minute chart, the subdivisions within wave A pink is labeled in an excruciating detail from the end of wave A flow. But what is of interest to us is the subdivisions within wave A green. So moving to the 30 minute chart, we see that wave A pink is complete as a leading diagonal labeled waves 1 through 5 green and that each subdivision within that leading diagonal unfolded as a 3 wave structure labeled A, B and C orange for wave 1 green and A, B and C orange for wave 2 green, A, B, C orange for wave 3 green as well A, B and C orange for wave 4 green and finally an A, B and C orange for wave 5 green to complete wave A pink. So what of interest to us is the subdivisions within wave A green. Within wave A green, I am having a hard time labeling that upwards movement as a 5 wave structure. This suggests that wave A green is unfolding as a 3 wave structure and that leaves us with 3 options for the completion of wave B pink. The first option is that wave B pink is unfolding as a flat correction and in this case waves A and B green are structurally complete and that wave C green is unfolding toward the upside especially since wave B green already exceeded 90% the length wave A green which is the minimum target for a B wave within a flat correction. If that is the case, then cable is expected to reverse direction and move toward the upside within wave C green to complete wave B pink. Now we move to the second option, which is an expanded flat correction for wave B pink and in this case, wave A green would be complete and wave B green would have more to offer to the downside towards 1.5326 as at that level wave B green will reach 1.382 the length of wave A green and that is the common target for the completion of B waves within an expanded flat correction. The third option is a triangle for wave B pink, but that is the least option and if that is correct, the high of wave A green should be respected. So to simply wrap this up, whether wave B green is complete or not, we should expect further upwards movement to complete wave B pink. Therefore, wave C green is expected to unfold toward the upside. We will move again to the hourly chart to view confirmation point and target for this count. It would be confirmed that wave C green is unfolding toward the upside by movement above 1.5395 and we have a target for the completion of wave B pink at 1.5424. We should be able to calculate a target for wave C green once this confirmation point is reached and a common target for C waves within a flat correction is at 1.618 the length of wave A green. This count would be invalidated by movement below 1.4951 as wave B flow may not retrace more than 100% the length of wave A flow. As well, this count would be invalidated by movement above 1.5553, as wave B pink may not retrace more than 100% the length of wave A pink within a zigzag correction. So to wrap today's analysis up, the main count expects cable to reverse directions and move toward the upside to make a new high to complete wave A flow, while the alternate count expects that a short term top is in place and that wave B flow is unfolding toward the downside and that any upwards movement should prove corrective in nature. That's all for me today. Happy trading and have a nice day.